All right, so next we'll focus on adding some sort of scoring and give a point for each collectible picked up. So I'm going to go into the player controller again, and we need to add a variable to keep track of the counting. So I'm going to, in the class, let's put it right underneath this rigid body. I'm going to add a private integer called count, and that will keep track of the score. Now, what would make sense is when we hit play, we want count to start over at zero. So in the start method, I'm going to set count equal to zero. And then it would make sense that every time a pickup is hit, we want to increase the value of count by one. Now, we already have a place for that. So I'm going to scroll down to the on trigger enter and that is where we can add one to count. There's a couple of ways to, to do that. We can either say count equals count plus one, which essentially takes what's in count, adds one, puts it back in, or we can do a shortcut, which is just count plus plus, which is another way of incrementing count by one. Okay, so that should work fine, but let's display that on the page. So to do that, let's add some UI. I'm going to save this and go back to Unity. For this, I'm going to show you how you can use Text Mesh Pro as a UI element. So in the hierarchy, I'm going to say UI Text Text Mesh Pro. Now it's going to come up with a little alert box where we need to import the TMP essentials. So go ahead and click on that, and it will import information into a folder in your project. And then you can go ahead and close this. Now notice that text TMP is created inside of a canvas and also an event system shows up. And we need to keep both of those things for this to work. UI in Unity is a little weird to work with. Notice it came up with this canvas. And if you double click on it, you can see where it is. And I have to say it's a little odd if you haven't worked with it before, because here is our ground and things you can double click, but notice it looks gigantic. I think the easiest way to do that is to um, switch into 2D mode. Notice there's a box up at the top of the scene. And then double click on your canvas and it'll show you where that is. And this essentially is representing what the user is seeing. Now this UI element is anchored position wise to the center. And what we want to do is change it to the upper left. And what I can do is I can click on this text element, and over in our inspector, it shows where it's anchored. If I click on it, you can see the anchor preset. So notice it's set to the center. Also, it gives you a hint. If you hold Shift and Alt, it'll also set the position and the pivot. So I'm holding Shift and Alt, and then if I click in this upper left anchor, it will then anchor it to the upper left of the screen. Now I don't want it right up against the upper left of the screen. So what I can do is I can either adjust the position up in the rect transform, or I can just grab this move tool, grab this little box here and move it in a little bit. So when I hit play, that new text will show up in the upper left. I'm just going to leave it that size by default, but if you wanted to change anything, that can also be reset in the inspector in this section. The color, the size, alignment, and such. Now I'm going to change my placeholder text here from new text to count text. And I'm also going to rename it over here. Instead of just plain text, I'm going to call this count text. So now let's add the code to update this value. Also, for now, you're going to be seeing some red errors. Just ignore them. We will be fixing that. And if you go to the console, it's even more alarming. Just don't worry about that right now. I'm going to go into scripts, and I'm going back into my player controller. So to work with Text Mesh Pro, we need to add a directive at the top, essentially to allow it to access those code libraries. So at the top, I'm going to add using TM Pro. Semicolon. 
And then I need to create a new TMP variable in the class to access that text element. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it at the top here. It needs to be public. I'm gonna make it to TMP text and I'm gonna call it count text. So I'm going to end up assigning my text field in the scene to this variable to connect them. Now I'm going to make a method to update the score on the screen. I'm going to make it in its own method because there's a couple of different places we'd like to update it. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down and I'm going to call it set count text because I'm going to be setting the count text. So I'll say void set count text and I'm not actually passing anything in so it'll just be two parentheses and curly braces. And in here I'm going to say count text dot text and that is referring up here to my text mesh pro text called count text. I'm going to set the text of it to count and that's going to actually write the word count. I'm going to say plus to concatenate it and then I'm going to say count which is the variable count which I'm keeping track of the score with. But since that's an integer, I need to convert it to string. So I'm going to say dot to string. Okay, so whenever I call this method set count text, it will then update my text on the screen. So I want this to happen in two places. When this first starts as a program, in start, I want it to set the count text. So I'm going to go ahead and add that there. Let's put it right after I initialize count. Right, so it will run that method. And then also, after a player collides with a pickup, and I add one to the count, so I want to update the UI there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and then go back to Unity. So in Unity now, if I click on the player, and I look in the script area, there is a spot for count text. And notice it says none, and it's looking for Text Mesh Pro. So I need to drag my count text to that to say, hey, that's what I want to update. And there's one other thing we need to do to have this work. So I need to actually fix the event system error to use input system. So notice the console's still yelling at me. So I click on event system, and over in the inspector, I need to find the standalone input module. And there's a button, and it's giving me a little warning. I want to replace with input system UI input module. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then when I hit play, it should clear out those errors. All right, let's try it out. When I hit a pickup, it should count up. And notice here we are, despite my terrible navigating. I'm counting up to six. 11 and 12. Okay, so we counted them all, but it's a little anticlimactic because I want some sort of a, a declaration that I collected them all or I won. So let's add that. So I'm going to actually add another text element to say you win. So I'm going to go back into the hierarchy and go to UI and add another text mesh pro. And that one happened to pop into the middle right away, and that's fine. And I'm going to call this win text. And let's make the text here you win. And I can position this a bit. This is anchored to the center. Let's just verify that. Notice it is anchored to the center. So what I want to do is I want to move it up a bit so it'll appear above where the ball is. And I can, if you can imagine, this is where the, the player is going to be. I can move it over a little. I could make it larger. I could change the color. That's all up to you. Now that that's in position, let's go back to the code. Now I need to add a reference to it just like I did with count text. TMP Pro is already up there. I can go public it's TMP text. And let's call it win text. And when the game starts, we want to disable that and actually hide the text. And it'll only pop up when it wins. So I'm going to put that in start. So I'm going to put that at the end here. I'm going to say win text dot game object dot set active and then in parentheses false. So that will set the game object of win text to false. 
So now I also want to show that win text if I picked up all 12 pickups. And I can check this in the set count text method because that's really handling essentially the UI, right? So I'm going to in here add this if statement. If I'm going to check the variable count. So if count is greater than or equal to 12, and then I just want to show the win text game object just like I hit it, except saying true. Now I do want to point out this 12 has to match exactly the number of collectibles you want. So if you have more, change that number. Okay, so let's save it. And I do need to connect the win text with the script again. So in Unity, I'm going to go to the player script. And notice now win text also says none. So I just need to drag win text over to that position. And when I hit play, let's try it out. Okay, so I'm going to try and collect all of them. And I won. If I want to go back and look at this in a normal way, just click in off of 2D and I can always double click on ground and it'll bring me back to a more regular view of the game. Now when you're dealing with UI don't worry about this this uh, canvas floating around it just kind of does its own thing just focus on the objects separately. And now in the next video I'll show you how to build your game and then you're all set.